Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to count the blanks in a filtered data range. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have 750 customers here. I also have 25 different salespeople and 10 different products. And I want to be able to filter by any of my salespeople, see how many customers they are working with, and for each of the 10 products, I want to see which ones they have not sold any products to. So let's see how we're going to do that. We're going to use the subtotal function in Excel. So first I want to be able to know the number of customers that each of those salespeople have when I filter them. So in cell A1, I'm going to use subtotal. I'm going to use the number three function here, which is the count of function. And my range is A3 to A752. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and I have 750 customers, which we knew. Now, over each one of the products, I'm going to take equals subtotal and I'll choose 3 for counta, comma, again, A3 to A752, and I want to lock that, so I'm going to highlight this area and hit F4, and from that I want to subtract subtotal, and I'm going to use 2, the count function, because I have values in there, comma, and I'm going to enter C3 to C752 and I'm not going to lock that because as I copy it across I want that to change from column C to D to E to F etc. I'll enter that and I'll copy that across and what that gives me now is the number of blanks in each one of my columns. So as you can see the best looks like shoes with only 178 customers that have not purchased anything in that category. So now if I want to filter, let's say I want to take a look at Francis. And you can see that Francis has 36 different customers and of shoes there are only three blanks in that there's one up in customer 718 and two more down in 747 and 748 so francis sells shoes to almost all the customers where pants there is only one customer 746 that francis has sold pants to so there are 35 blank cells in that filtered area so let's take a look at the formula that we have in cell A1. I'm just going to retype it here, equals subtotal tab. Now you can see there is a long list of actually 22 different options here that we can choose from. And the difference between 1 through 11 and 101 through 111 is that the first group would include any hidden rows in the data where 100 through 111 ignores the hidden rows. But in this case we can use 3 because there's a difference between hidden rows and filtered rows. When rows are filtered with Excel the subtotal function always excludes those from its count. So I didn't have to use 103. I could have used either one and I would get the same value. So again, I can do A3 to A752 and I would get 750. And if I filter by something, let's say I'll filter just by Adam, I get 57. If I change this to 103, I still get 57 because again there's a difference with the subtotal function between filtered and hidden rows. Filtered rows always are ignored when you're using the subtotal function. And again as I change any of these salespeople here with Chris 
there are 26 customers, 20 different customers that Chris has not sold any pants to. So this is how you can count blank cells in a filtered range in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.